Our series, A More Perfect Union, aims to show that what unites us as Americans is much greater than what divides us. This morning, how a pair of tech-savvy tech -savvy brothers in California are working to make Election Day safe. So you've got Tenzing and Zubin Carvalho. They started making face shields for family members in frontline health care jobs. Now, as our Dr. Tara Narula shows us, they're also working to protect poll workers. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Wonderful! When the pandemic hit, 12-year-old Tenzing and 14-year-old Zubin took their robotics team skills and transformed their 3D printer into a lifesaver. Our grandparents are in the 70s and are still seeing patients in their nursing homes, hospitals, and offices. So we wanted to find a way to keep them safe. What started with helping their own family, this is 3D printed, uh, his is injected molded, became a push community-wide. Word of mouth spread of us, and we started getting requests for hundreds of shields. And we're now made up of eight high schools, eight elementary schools, nine robotics teams from five different school districts. Face shields can take up to four hours to print. Then they are sanitized and sent out. We want people to realize also there's more staff to nursing home. We don't need to custodial and cafeteria staff because also they play a key role in those ecosystems as well. The Brothers nonprofit SoCal Face Shields for Frontline Workers was created to make sure everyone who needed a shield received one. My mom is actually a frontline worker. She works in a grocery store and she interacts with people, thousands of people every day. Fellow robotics teammate Maya Keys joined as well. Seeing how this impacts her, this project gave me an opportunity to give back and to help, even if it was minor. At first it was, but now it's <laughs> huge. Huge, as in the group has printed and donated over 15,000 shields to frontline workers who may not have been first in line. My name is Priscilla Perez. I'm a healthcare worker from New Jersey. My name is Marlene, coming from the Napo Reservation. I am very thankful for these face shields that were donated to us. It's kept me coronavirus free for six months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. After sending donations across the country, the boys are now looking at a different front line. Yeah, these are uh, 1,600. They're reusable. Our main focus right now are election workers, since there's an important upcoming election that's going to happen this year. And we want to make sure that they would stay safe since they help keep the process of our democracy going. This was the first I've heard of students. I've heard of some, maybe some nonprofits donating to hospitals, but I had not heard of any donating to the elections office. Riverside County Registrar of Voters Rebecca Spencer can now distribute over 1,600 donated shields. How important is it that this group has donated face shields to your poll workers? It's great. That way we don't have to use taxpayer funds to go out and purchase PPE. The two of you can't vote yet, but you're donating to poll workers and supporting the election process. How does that make you feel? It makes us feel proud of ourselves. As just a kid, we're actually contributing to this election system, so it makes us very happy. Boy, thank you, Tara Narula. We yeah. need more kids like that. It's funny, Tony, during the piece, I was thinking the same thing you asked. How old are they again? 12 and 14. Wow. Because I was following wow. what they were doing, and I thought, I guess yeah. they're in college somewhere. <laughs> yeah, right. No. They sound like they're in college yeah. somewhere. And just the way they said took their 3D tech skills because they play a role in the ecosystems as well. Yes. And they were helping other people. Yeah. Bravo. Bravo Brothers. They did, Bravo. They did one good thing. They didn't stop there. And they exactly. thought, okay, what else can we do with yeah. this? Now the poll workers because yeah. they're front lines of democracy. Yeah. Very good point. Yeah. They, what they do is very important.